Good morning, students. Today I'm going to teach you semiconductor laser, which is the last type of laser. So semiconductor laser is very small laser. Okay. So the device is very small. It will be very many, very less than millimeters. Okay. And it can operate between the range of 1.6 to 1.55 micrometers. All right. So, uh, for the semiconductor laser, here instead of optical pumping, here we use electrical pumping. So, in order to excite the atoms, here we use electrical pumping. And the very good advantage of semiconductor laser is, uh, the population inversion is very high because uh, the, the, it, the size of the device is very small. The population inversion we can achieve is very, very high compared to other types of lasers. Okay. So, now let's see the principle of semiconductor Actually, semiconductor device, uh, sorry, the semiconductor laser form is formed by uh, uh, using two similar materials. So, uh, so let me start with the uh, example. So, uh, the semiconductor laser here we use is gallium arsenide laser. Uh, so, the substrate material is gallium arsenide. Okay, so above the substrate material, first n type material is dot. So the n type material here we use is aluminium gallium arsenide. Okay, so again uh, a similar p type material of same material, which is aluminium gallium arsenide, it is again dot. Okay, so when these two are dot, it forms a junction. Okay, a junction is formed. So this is this junction is called the active medium. Okay, so when the electrical pumping is applied over this uh, uh, semiconductor, uh, so there will be uh, forward bias between this N type and P type material. So because of that, some atoms will be excited and and the laser action will happen. Okay, so above this will have will use some metallization. So in three dimensional, if we draw, it will be like this. Okay, the substrate material will be like this. And in order to have the uh, contact, uh, contact with the electrical supply, we'll be using metallization over this. So for that, we use a small depression there. So this is the, this is for the purpose of metallization. So this is the construction and uh, construction of uh, the semiconductor laser. Now let's see the output of the semiconductor laser. The graph shows the plot between the current and the output laser output. Okay. So as the current, uh, so there is a threshold current. So uh, as the current is less than the threshold current, what happens is the gain. So if the current is less than the threshold current, what will happen? The gain will be lesser than the loss. That is the absorption. So because of that, okay, so because of that, the, the output will be moving linearly. Okay, so the, as the current increases, the output will be increased. Okay, so uh, at once it crosses the threshold current. So that means that the current is greater than the threshold current. What will happen? The gain will be very, very higher than the losses. Okay, so because of that, what will happen? The output will be very high. Okay, so this is the threshold point. After the threshold current, the output will be very, very high. Here comes the laser action. Okay, so if the output is very high, the laser emission process starts. Okay, now let's see the types of semiconductor lasers. So there are two types of semiconductor lasers. One is homojunction, 
homo junction laser and the second one is hetero junction laser. Okay, homo junction and hetero junction laser. So in the name itself is the homo junction means here we have the semiconductor laser will have only one junction. That means it will have one N type material. Okay, one N type and one P type. Okay, one p-type and here we will have only one junction. Okay, but the drawback of this homo junction is uh, as the temperature increases, the heat dissipation will be increased. So because of that, this type of laser will, will be used under very low temperatures. So this type of uh, laser will be used under very low temperatures. Alright. And next is the hetero junction. The name itself, it is there. It will have many layers, alternative N, P, N, P layers. So because of that, more number of uh, electrons can be accommodated. And uh, there is one more point is uh, the middle of the layer. Okay, I'll uh, explain it. Uh, so here we have N, P, and again N layer, P layer. So more number of layers are stacked. And the middle layer is called the active layer. So, because of this, the laser emission is emission can be easily done using this hetero junction. And this is the most commonly used uh, type of uh, semiconductor laser. Okay. And we have another one classification is in order to have a high power. Okay, so in order to achieve high power, two modes of operations uh, is possible in semiconductor laser. So first mode is single mode. Okay, in single mode what happens? Only one semiconductor substrate is used and the output power we achieve is uh, greater than 100 watts. Sorry, hundreds of megawatts. All right, and the second mode is multi mode. So, here arrays of semiconductors are used. Okay, so that's the only difference. As in single mode, only uh, uh, one substrate is used, but here arrays of semiconductor substrates are used. Thank you, students.